Hi, my name is Chris Height. I'm an instructor at Allen Hancock College. I'm also a filmmaker, and I'm here today to talk about student filmmaking. I've been teaching for six years here at Allen Hancock College. Prior to that, I taught for uh, four years on the East Coast. Prior to that, I worked as a professional editor and camera operator in various production facilities on the East Coast. Student filmmaking is the study of the production process of making motion pictures by students. That study involves use of camera, lighting, sound equipment, editing, all to create a convincing narrative story. The idea of how you learn to make motion pictures, I think, is very important. And I know that filmmakers like Roberto Rodriguez uh, has written a book, and he's he's made statements along the lines of, "You don't need a film school to learn to make films." And there's some truth to that, but I think that's also in bad spirit as well. What film schools do for you is they provide a venue for you to share your works, to get feedback from other students, other budding professionals, uh, and critical feedback at that. Uh, it's nice to make films, but if you're just going to show them to family and friends, you may not get the, the feedback that, that you need. Also, film schools are very important uh, in terms of supporting your project and with the use of hardware, expensive camera equipment, and unless you're independently wealthy, that's uh, something that's very difficult to come up with. The best thing for a student filmmaker to focus on is just telling really character-driven, quality stories. And too often I think what happens is students and young filmmakers are really enthusiastic, see some really high-end special effects films in either in, uh, movie theaters or on television, and they want to emulate that. Not only are they looking at something that's in a longer format and has a lot of money behind it to bring out those special effects. But they're, they're looking at something that, in terms of their own project, it's really a short format project and it needs to focus on character. If you start doing special effects, there's a, you run the risk of just throwing us off story and turning it into visual eye candy. So you know, really character driven stories are the way to go, especially for the short format, which is what most students are working in. The best student films that I've seen have really used strong composition. Um, now, when, you, when you're talking about composition for a film, there's this fine mixture of what you want it to look like artistically, and then there's the technical, my hand is forced aspect to it, which sometimes the room you're shooting in is very small, and so that dictates uh, what you're, you're doing in terms of composition. Uh, sometimes there's things in the background that you have to work around that you don't have control over. All these factors play in. I've seen hundreds of student films over the years, and I can say that from a technical perspective, the thing that really needs the most across the board is sound design. And I like to use that word design, I would underline that. It's not just the idea of there's sound there and I need to mix the levels up on it. It's design in the sense of how does it work with the story? How does it artistically impact the story? Thinking of sound before you actually begin the production is probably one of the most important things you can do. And too often students get into the production and they're really just focused on the visual, the lighting. Uh, I think sound is just an area that it, I can't underscore the importance of it. Also, it just goes back to the page as well, it's story. And again, too many student projects I've seen try and, and uh, use special effects or digital manipulation to, to stylize their story, when instead they could have got more mileage out of it by making a good character that has a clearly defined objective, that we understand what they're trying to do in the film, and, and, and from that style will emerge. You can be experimental, you can do all types of avant-garde stuff, but you have to have that core character that we're, we're following through even a short narrative to get to that point. I, again, I, I completely recommend if you're interested in being a filmmaker, at least, you know, take a, take a production course. See what it's about. If nothing else, here are the pluses for taking a, a production course. You're going to meet other people who want to get into filmmaking. 
And like Orson Welles said, it, it takes an army to make a motion picture. At film school, you're gonna make friends. You're gonna make uh, compadres. You're gonna make alliances of people who can help you bring your vision alive. If you think you're just gonna go out there and do it yourself and conquer the world, uh, it's, it's just gonna be a rude awakening for you. So I highly recommend film school. Also at film school, you're not just making films, which is completely crucial, but you're watching films by filmmakers you've never heard of and films you never knew existed. That is increasing your vision as an artist. That is exposing you to new ideas. Yeah, you can rent movies on your own. You can watch on your own. You can read books on how to make films on your own. But ultimately, it's a collaborative, communal process, and a film school it definitely meets that, that qualification. So yeah, I highly recommend. Uh, I'm not saying a person has to uh, take out a loan and get a degree somewhere, but I, I, I just think taking even a production course is definitely to your advantage. It gets your beak wet. It gets you thinking about things in a different way.